This is Waldorf at juliewaldorf.com and I have Russi here with the HOA Blues and what's going on now Russi after that meeting you had? Remember the meeting? Yes, good morning Julia. Good morning. I have about four areas to discuss. One is I'm running for the board. Oh, the, thought, so the meeting went well, I take it. Um, it went, it, it, everything is a learning situation, right? Right. So we learned from it. And All right. It, it was successful because the board in the past has, has just sent you a letter and they wouldn't communicate with you. We really wouldn't get down and talk to you. Mm -hmm. So we were able to talk. And mm -hmm. usually if you can talk with somebody, you can get an understanding at least, mm -hmm. right? And you can sort of work towards things. But when mm -hmm. it's all one-sided, which the board is, uh -huh. has all the power, uh -huh. and makes rules, right. sets the fines, right. and th then you um, just have to follow, Yeah. right? And if you're not a follower like I'm not, I'm a leader, yeah. right? You get right in there and um, and you, you fight. And it's the board is a wrong, wrong place to fight. Because they have the power. Dolly, Eklund, come back. Come on. My two dogs are running away. <laughs> so you run for the board. Okay, is that right? what you do? Okay. You run for the board. You get on the board. Uh-huh. Our board here has the same people on the board and in power for 11 years. It's a long time. And they've created what they want here. And if, if Which you is don't a disaster. Follow, Everybody's at yeah. each other's throats. Yeah. So you get on the board. Yeah. And, and you say, what what is the person? What, why are you running for the board? Dolly, come on. And... Whatever you do is, is you got to be sort of mellow about it. Eklund, come on, about it, because if you're not, you won't get elected. So they say, don't put any red herrings in there. So mm -hmm. I just said I want to improve and correct our association documents mm -hmm. to reduce the scope, mm -hmm. confusing and cost and hindrance, and, and improve the practicality. Strengthen the relationship with homeowners by providing complete transparency. The problem is, is the board has no transparency. Uh-huh, right. You pick on them, them, them. And no, no one else knows what they're doing. Yeah, right? yeah, and that is the problem. Because <clears throat> no one knows if it's, if it's fair or not. Yeah. They really don't know it's fair and if these people should be elected or not next time because they don't know if they're playing fair. Right. They just assume they are, and they don't really know what's going on. They sent out 38 letters to different people about different things. Mm -hmm. Probably probably some of them are justified, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. and, and uh, others, it's their own personal opinion. Well, 38 out of what, 48 homes? That's um, yep. a lot. That's like... And, Three quarters. I think they got a good chance <laughs> to get on the board. They made 38 people mad. Yeah, well, maybe. Sometimes there's like th people got three letters and stuff like that. So maybe right. it's like 40, 40 homes. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing. I mean, 30. Is creative management that went, we went to. Okay. And Julia was a really great help. It's, it pays to have yourself a, a, a strong advocacy when you go. The issue was there that I didn't like is after we've discussed everything, mm -hmm. the, the arbitrator, she wrote down what we had decided. Right. And a lot of things she got wrong in there. And, and right. Was, and, and so next time I think that if you go to arbitration, you should each write down what, what it, the analysis is on each point. And right. And then you come together with her. Right. She, she wrote them all down, six of them. Mm -hmm. We waited mm -hmm. until it was done, then she read them off. Right. Okay. We should have had a copy of what she read off because some people are visual and yeah. some are hearing, right? Yeah, right. Okay, that. Now, okay. this is an important one. <laughs> okay, what's the last report? Is this the last one? Next to the last. Okay. I, I wrote um, the management, right? They, they managed 200 homeowners association. Uh -huh. and I said they need a neutral person uh -huh. to work with the board and work with the homeowners to, to bring things together uh -huh. better so that um, it's more fair. Come on, mm -hmm. Eklund. And... And the last one is reporting. If if um, the board is out of hand, mm -hmm. they're, they're biasly are um, um, damaging you. Uh -huh. Report them to the police. Report them to the district attorney. Uh -huh. And then if those two won't do anything, which they probably would if it's a serious thing, uh -huh. you report it to the grand jury, and the okay. grand jury will investigate it. Okay. Rusty Parvin signing off. All right. Any well, questions? did you wait a second? Did you report it to the yes, grand jury? Oh, you I did. did. You no, I know. Not the grand jury to the police. And the, and and the, I didn't go to the next step to the grand jury. Um, are you going to? I don't know. You'll see what happens. We get a new board coming in. That our yeah. board now is maybe lame it'll duck. change all over and, and everything would and be good. And there's the president. And there's their garbage can right out front. Uh -huh. They sent out 20 letters to everybody else not to have garbage cans. Um, you see it over there? Yeah. You see. Yeah. For the rest of us not to have it, the vice president has theirs in their yard. Which is ridiculous. So what if you have a garbage can up front? Right. It's garbage day yesterday or something, But right? there, it's Monday. Yeah. All right. Well. It's a serious deal around here. Oh, okay. Look yeah. how nice and clean my yard is. 
Yeah, you have. You it's have almost it. sterile. It's almost sterile. That's why I wore a white pants and a okay. white hat. Oh, I see. To okay. My sterility. All right. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Parvin. Thank you for the uh, clues on the HOE blues, and hopefully everything's, you know, buttoned away and tucked away, and everything's good. And they're the, they're fight, tired of me fighting, and they're tired of fighting me. Yeah, and maybe you'll get on the board and change some things. Maybe, in a, and if I get on the board, it's going to be tough if we have have the other bunch on there, which they probably will be on there. Yeah. All right, well, that won't be bad, and we might follow, keep following the story. Thank you. All right, Julie Waldorf, JulieWaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.